Hello everyone, and welcome to our weekly review. I am Troglodidi from Simple Trade. Today, I will talk about the current market situation and review four companies with impressive updates, some of which ran hundreds of percent this past week. So let's get right into it. As you may know, TD Ameritrade has announced a deadline on the 30th of August after which they will not accept opening trades for companies that are not under the current or yield sign. I want you to note that companies with the yield sign will be allowed to trade as usual. The requirements for a yield or current sign are listed on OTC markets. Check the link in the description. You may want to check the TD Ameritrade list of stocks to be restricted while keeping in mind that it is bound to change any moment. We have seen the panic that this has caused in the market, resulting in many stocks that fall very low and providing many opportunities for those who do their due diligence. So now, we will start the stock reviews. The first stock I would like to present to you is VNTA. The company ran more than 500% and we will see why. The company has not provided any news or filings for two years and is under the delinquent SEC reporting state. For a company that inactive, sudden activity could have an enormous impact. From looking at the chart, we notice interesting developments. The stock is driven down starting from the 24th of June. We can see that someone was loading the stock at its bottom. Then. After two weeks at 0005 to 0006, with a small taste of 0004s, the stock started rising. Then, on the 6th of August, a 1512G was filed, a form stating the termination of registration with the SEC. This form could mean that the company is about to start reporting to OTC markets. The interesting thing about this form is that it is signed by Frank Igualor, the same Frank who is the manager of Alpha Ridge Capital, the huge custodian group responsible for multiple stocks, many of which already ran significantly, OCLG, FCGD, ILST, etc. This is the reason for the 500% run. If you would have been vigilant and fast enough, you could also grab some at 0004 providing you profits of more than 700%. Off to the next stock, NBRI. On Friday of last week, the stock increased its value by more than 100% from its last support. If you are not acquainted with the story of the stock, I strongly suggest checking the video I made about NBRI. The link is in the description. In short, the company is one of the few low-priced pink current stocks. At these times, given all the market restrictions that are about to fall upon us, this is a very rare combination. The company management has been awaiting their opportunity to continue their work on the Tulamine Platinum project, an immense mining project of platinum, palladium, rhodium, gold, silver, olivine and magnesium. The work has been postponed due to Canada border restrictions as a result of the COVID-19. On the 6th of August, the company released news stating that they have initiated the project. The importance of the materials mined is mentioned. Magnesium, for example, is used in many military applications including aircraft, missiles, etc. The company also states that the shareholders will be updated as the project concludes. The release of the news and the potential held within them is the reason for the rise last Friday. Our next stock is ICOA. The stock has already run twice. First, more than 500% and recently 380% more. The case with ICOA is rather interesting. In order to understand the last run, we have to research the first one. So let's dive right in. The first run is due to Alpha Ridge Capital trying to be the custodian of ICOA, which is very good news for the shareholders. That is the reason for the significant rise of more than 500%. Right after the rise, there was a significant drop of almost 80% of the stock's value. This is due to the announcement of Alpha Ridge Capital that they will not continue their pursuit of this custodianship as advised by their attorney. But the interesting thing here is that they have left the custodianship because the company already showed progress, which means that they believe the company will do good by the shareholders. And truly enough, last Thursday, 
the company released news stating that their OTCIQ application was approved and they will start uploading filings in order to achieve the pink current status. That is the reason for the last 300% rise. And now off to our last stock, EEGI. EEGI is a stock that has been in the spotlight for quite some time. If you are not familiar with the story of the stock, I urge you to go and check the video I made with Simple Trade about it. The link is in the description. In short, the company is expected to collaborate with huge entertainment groups and is in the process of becoming pink current. On Thursday last week, Steve, the president of EEGI, stated on Twitter that the filings are complete and will be filed by Monday. Now, from previous experience, given the filings will be uploaded by Monday, there is a significant chance that the company will receive the yield sign, which will mean, in turn, that it will not be affected by TD Ameritrade's restrictions, but only time will tell. The stock already started to rise in anticipation of the filings. It will be interesting to see how the story develops. And so, our weekly review has come to an end. I hope you have enjoyed the review and learned a thing or two. I might add that many of the tickers here were alerted in our Simple Trade community Discord group, something that helps bring your attention to them earlier in the game. I invite you to join our Discord community. Make sure to subscribe in order to receive more valuable content and continue learning and improving. I wish us all a successful week. Troglodyte out.